Welcome to this new episode of Budget TV. We're going to be talking about the importance of avionics, the indispensable role of avionics in today's aircraft. So uh, this is an important subject. Uh, more and more talk about it uh, recently. Uh, so we're going to be delving into that, talking about you know how this helps the pilot, maintenance, and all the other things in there, and why you, as a future aircraft owner, um, need to look at the avionics. We'll be talking about uh, buying new aircraft versus old aircraft because of the avionics. Also buying old aircraft and fitting new avionics in it. Uh, something which is going to become a, a, a big trend in, in um, this year, in 2024, and also in the years to come. Now, my name is Fabrizio Pollum, your aviation advisor. I'm also an airline transport pilot with thousands of hours of flying both private jets and also airlines around the world. I'm also the author of the book, The Quantum Economy. More about this book towards the end. There's going to be a special offer for you. So you need to tune in until the end and you hear about the special offer. So um, what we're going to talk about today is the avionics. Now, of course, if you're buying a new airplane, the new airplane will come with new avionics and the most modern and latest and greatest of avionics. If you're buying an old aircraft, depending on how old it is, is it a good idea, question, to upgrade that airplane with modern avionics? Now, a lot will depend. Now, the good thing is the cost of avionics is coming down. Uh, it's a bit like with, you know, uh, mobile phones in the beginning. They were very expensive. Then the price came down or any piece of technology, really. Um, so same thing with avionics now. So it is becoming more feasible now to buy an older aircraft and fit it with modern avionics. Uh, now, I had a boss a few years ago. He had a collection of airplanes and one project he wanted to do was buy this Falcon 10 he had new landing gear put on new engines he upgraded the avionics he put a really modern avionics suite in it uh, it's probably one of the very few Falcon 10s with the Proline 21 avionics in it but then after spending four million dollars on the airplane when it was time to sell after he played around with the airplane for two or three years uh, he only got eight hundred thousand dollars for it now this was back in the day when doing this kind of thing was really really expensive and you would only do it if you just had money that you wanted to play with um, you know, just just as a project um, or if you intended to keep the airplane for five, six or seven years. Well, today's not the case because today, because the price has come down, it does make a lot of sense to buy an older airplane and then fit it with avionics. But uh, you've got to be careful because this is an airplane and you can't just fit anything in an airplane. Now, in order to put a certain avionics suite in an airplane, there needs to be an STC for it. STC stands for Supplemental Type Certificate. Now, that means that that particular, let's say, Garmin avionics suite needs to be certified for that particular airplane. Now, what if the STC doesn't exist? Well, you can actually apply for an STC. Uh, you need a team of engineers to work with the FAA or the EASA or Civil Aviation Authority in your country to sort of work to, you know, make sure that that avionics suite will interact with the rest of the aircraft, the weight, you know, the dimensions and all that, will it fit in the cockpit, all that kind of stuff. And that usually takes between eight to 12 months to get the STC. But once you have the STC, you own it. And if anybody else wants to uh, put that particular avionics suite in that airplane, they have to come to you and pay you some money to use your STC. Uh, so uh, it could be an investment, but again, you, you've got to be careful. Uh, but there are a number of manufacturers now uh, applying them directly themselves to get STCs to upgrade older airplanes. Uh, Goldstream have done this. Now you can get a G4 and put the G450 avionics suite into it. Uh, Cessna have done it recently with um, some of their aircraft where you can put the Garmin 3000 or 5000 into like an XLS, uh, Citation XLS. So a lot of people now are taking their Citation XLSs to be fitted with the Garmin 5000 avionics suite, which is the same avionics suite you get in the Lear 75, for example. So this, this is kind of what's already happening. Now, what do modern avionics do for the aeroplane? Well, first of all, it increases a pilot's situational awareness. Now, what does situational awareness mean? It means that uh, once upon a time, the pilot, when I learned to fly, you had to look at the instruments, look at a map, look outside, if you were flying VFR, and then interpret where you were on the map. If you're flying IFR, similar thing, you wouldn't look outside, but you'd look at the instruments, and then you'd look at the map, and you'd interpret where you were. With the modern avionics, everything is displayed on the screen for you. So you see exactly where you are and where you're going, uh, and this happens three-dimensionally. So you also can see the terrain. And this is really, really handy when you're coming into a mountainous area and you're descending into a mountainous region uh, in cloud, for example, you'll be able to see the terrain. Uh, some of these airplanes now uh, project the runway onto the screen virtually. So you get a virtual projection of the runway on there, which basically land allows you to land with zero visibility. 
because you just look at you're looking outside because that's the other thing if the pilot's looking inside at the instruments he's trying to land you usually with a two pilot operation one's looking outside and one's looking inside um and as you come in and then, and then as soon as the runway environment the lights and that are visible then the the guy that's doing the flying will transition from looking at the instruments to looking outside and there's always a you know there's a few seconds of you know doing this that you know takes takes time to get used to but now they project it all on the windscreen and they give you a virtual projection of the runway so even though you can't physically see the actual runway outside the window the virtual runway is projected for you on the screen and you can land very comfortably so this is really improving flight safety uh, because so many people have crashed because you know they didn't see the runway or they thought they did and you know all sorts of stuff going on. you just look at the history of accidents uh, in landing in in, um, in poor visibility and you can see you know how this now will be avoided and prevented because of the new avionics so situation awareness is really really important um, it enhances navigation and improves you know the uh, the flight safety at the end of the day the second thing it does it can give you real time weather and that's another thing uh, when i uh, was flying years ago uh, one pilot would be flying along the other guy would be listening to different radio stations along the way to get the weather of the different airports in case you had a sudden engine failure you knew where you can you could divert you, you know what the weather was like on the left and on the right the various airports well this is all done now in real time you can get some of the weather projected on the screen other information is coming to you and so you can see what the weather situation is of all the airports around you without having to get on the radio um, and this is really really handy as well in particular if you're going through you know storms and things like that to have that weather projected on the screen in a very modern way with lots more information than you used to have you used to have to really interpret that weather radar but now it's a lot easier with the new weather radars that they have on board and the way it's displayed on the screen for the pilot the other thing is communication with air traffic control now uh back in the day when i was flying you know long-haul flights across the ocean um you had to have what's called an hf radio and hf radio communications is not always uh, smooth sometimes they hear you sometimes they don't uh, sometimes it takes 10 minutes to make sure you've understood what they're telling you to do uh, but now with the new cpdlc systems and whatever what's happening is the airplane is communicating with air traffic through like a text messaging system um, and so this works really really well a lot of this is being used from the satellite also now airplanes uh, more airplanes are being equipped with with um, uh, internet using satellites and not only is it used to speak to people over the phone, but it's also used to communicate with air traffic control. So the signal goes from the plane up to the satellite and down. There's no interference uh, like you do when you're talking to the ground. Um, and so that's another great advantage there is being able to talk to air traffic control with this modern avionics suite. And the, th the last thing which is important as well, if you have a maintenance issue or some sort of fault on the airplane, the airplane will be talking to uh, the maintenance team on the ground. So communication will be going back and forth the maintenance team will be able to see all the systems on the airplane and see what's wrong and be able to figure out how to fix it if there's any troubleshooting that can be done in flight they'll communicate that to the pilots or otherwise they'll be well prepared when the plane lands on the ground to be able to fix the problem so this is another thing which is a great advantage as well as also monitoring the pilot and seeing how the pilot flies uh, there's a lot of these um uh, flight safety systems where they're monitoring the pilot you know the speed the altitude all that kind of thing that's another thing which is being done to en enhance safety so you can actually download all the flight uh, at the end of it and see how you did how you did your flying and seeing how, how how good the flight was and that or what went wrong you can sort of go back and see where maybe the problem started so all these things are really helping to improve flight safety so it's a good thing so my recommendation is if you are going to buy an older aircraft and of course the older aircraft is going to be cheaper than buying a new aircraft of course you'll probably have more maintenance to do in that depending on what you buy uh, but you know upgrading it with a modern avionics suite is actually a good idea now of course a lot will depend on the aircraft a lot will depend on what stcs are available and and this is why it's very important for you to um, talk to an aviation advisor like myself that can guide you through the process select the right airplane and if there's any upgrades that can be done is select which upgrades to do and see where to do them how much it's going to cost how long it's going to take all this is really really important so what i'm offering you today because i usually charge to speak to me is i'm offering you a free call with me if you get a copy of the quantum economy click on the link below what is this book about this book is about the private jet world um, see here the table of contents 
Uh, it's about, you know, business of the future. Uh, where is the economy going? Uh, what are the emerging nations, the emerging sectors uh, and why you need a private jet to get to these places? There's a stories in here of a number of people that um, have used a private jet to build their businesses. And that's really interesting. So it's all you need to do is click on the link below, buy yourself a copy and make sure you write a review about the book on Amazon. You become a, a um, verified purchaser this way and then send me evidence that you've done that on an email. You see my email here on the screen and I will then book you in for a call, a one-to-one -one call where we'll talk about your business, find out more about you and about your needs and come up with the right aircraft strategy for you. Whether you need to charter, fraction ownership, buy an aircraft, share an aircraft with somebody else, um, lease an aeroplane, that's another option as well which is out there. These are all the options and whatever. I'll get on that call with you and work something out in the best possible way for you and your team. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Budget TV. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, um, give us a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and family and business associates and that because avionics is a big thing. And as I said before, price is coming down on these avionics. So buying an older airplane, putting modern avionics is becoming a very, very good solution for today. And check out this other video we did recently about the new Honda Jet that's coming out, the Honda Jet Echelon, which will be with all these modern avionics as well. And I hope you enjoyed all this and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.